This coverage of MWC is brought to you by Bitdefender Mobile Security. And it's Josh Regar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And hopefully you saw the Nokia X and X Plus uh, uh, quick look that I gave, but here we have the XL. As you can see here, it is a much larger device as compared to the four inch screen that's found on the X and the X Plus. We have a five inch screen here. This is a larger device. As you can see, I'm just barely able to reach with my thumb and pinky over here on the diagonal there. But as far as the design goes, uh, it does have that blocky look that uh, has that is in the Nokia X and is pretty much permeated throughout Nokia Nokia's uh, general line of smartphones. It has a really sturdy feel. It is a little bit lighter than your typical Nokia phone. However, this really flat-sided uh, look and design does allow it to be pretty easily held in the hand. The button layout is over here on the right side with the power and volume rockers right over here for easy reach, a little bit lower on the phone. And overall, it's a very sturdy looking device. You really don't get the sense that this is of a low quality build. And uh, at the same time, you know, the, uh, the, the design really exudes what Nokia is usually known for. You do have just this uh, simple back button right here, which should allude to you already what kind of user interface and experience you're going to be expecting. But other than that, there really isn't a whole lot else in terms of the design of the phone. Like I said already, you do have a 5-inch screen right here, and it is powered by, just like the other two phones, it is powered by a Snapdragon S4 that clocks in at 1 gigahertz, and in this case, we have 768 megabytes of RAM underneath. Looking on the screen, you do have uh, a different looking Android here. Nokia is using Android for the first time in their smartphones here, and uh, it is a very different looking one. It's a little bit like a, like the Kindle Fire uh, uh, operating systems that you see on Amazon's products in that it's very forked and it does not use uh, Google Play services. When you get into the UI, it does look very much like a Metro UI with all of the tiles and it's just a kind of a long scroll down for all of the apps and whatnot. And as you can see here, there are quite a lot of apps from the Android ecosystem. That is the point of these phones, is bringing Nokia build quality with uh, the Metro UI look, but still being able to use Android applications. Now, unfortunately, you don't have Google Play services on here, so you're going to not have Gmail and Maps and whatnot. You will have the Microsoft equivalents of those instead. But going through all of the applications, it's pretty easy to see that you are able to get them on here in one way or another. If not through the Nokia store, then through third-party applications that tap into the Android ecosystem in order to download the apps and install them on here. It is possible to sideload them as well, but that's something that uh, we would say is uh, really your endeavor if you wish to do so. In the end, you do have a pretty nice looking UI and there is also this screen right here that allows you to take a quick glance at some of the most recent things that you were able to do. There is also a uh, controller here for music, so you'll get some contextual um, information there and some ways of controlling some of the parts of your phone uh, in an easy way on a second screen. So that's just a quick look at the, at the Nokia XL here. Um, it is a much larger device and they do come in at pretty affordable price points. However, given that this is a dual SIM phone, uh, I don't believe we'll be seeing it in America, not really anytime soon, but it hopefully will come there. They did tell us that they are planning on getting there, but for now, they're coming to selected markets. So the release will be a little bit limited, but until then, we're going to see what we can do to get our hands on one and give you a full review of Nokia's take on Android. Once again, this is Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. We're here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain, bringing you all the great coverage. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Yeah, just go ahead.